you are searching for inspiration in the classroom, why not take a look at the Institution of Chemical Engineers Top 10 Flashbang Demos. Produced as part of the Why Not Commenge campaign, they show that demonstrations can be fun, safe and relevant. They might even help enthuse your students to become the scientists and chemical engineers of the future. At number 5 we have lots of frothy foam. For this demonstration you will need black bin bags, three 500 milliliter measuring cylinders, three times 10 milliliters of potassium iodide solution, three times 20 milliliters of food coloring, a 100 milliliter beaker of washing up liquid and a syringe, and three times 75 milliliters of 100 vol hydrogen peroxide. This is a very messy demonstration, so you will need to cover the surfaces with black bin bags and set up each cylinder in a separate tray. First, add 75 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 100 vol, to each cylinder. This needs to be fresh as hydrogen peroxide has a shelf life of one year. Then, add 20 milliliters of food coloring to each cylinder. Add 10 millilitres of washing up liquid to each cylinder. I find using a syringe to measure the washing up liquid works well. Finally give everything a stir. Add 10 millilitres of potassium iodide to each cylinder and stand well back. Potassium iodide does stain which is why you should wear gloves for this demonstration. The foam is produced by the potassium iodide catalyzing the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen. The oxygen becomes trapped in the washing up liquid forming bubbles. Because this is an exothermic reaction, the water is produced as steam. You can show that the bubbles are oxygen using the classic test that oxygen will relight a glowing spill.